What is up, my neppers? This is the Nep Queen. Let's nep nep. Yep, that's gonna be my intro, guys. Deal with it. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. In the last episode, we meet our adorable protagonist, Neptune, who not only loses the console war, but also loses her memory. Banished to the world below, she lands in Planetoon, where she is rescued by Kampa, a fluffy and clumsy nurse in training who proceeds to treat her injuries and feed her pudding. Now the two are headed to where Neptune fell to see if she can recall anything from her past. Guys, if you are excited to see what happens in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this playlist with someone you know who might be interested in this series. Okay guys, before we get started, I am sure you have all noticed something about our layout. That's right, we have a party window. That means we're actually going to do something this episode. So, as you can see from our party layout, We've got our girls here. We've got our adorable protagonist, Neptune, in all of her glory, and the cute, clumsy, and sweethearted nurse, Kampa. I think this is a wonderful start to our interesting and bizarre adventure, don't you think? So before we head over to the dungeon, we actually are going to go over to Planetoon because we have some information, meaning that we've got some chirpers that we haven't spoken to yet. Now guys, I do enjoy voicing this game, like doing voiceovers. However, I am not going to do voiceovers for the chirpers because if I did that, I think that would be a little too exhausting for me. So when we're talking about the chirpers, I'm just going to speak and read in my normal voice. All right, so let's see who we've got here. Oh, this character! Fun fact, guys, this is actually the mascot character for the artist who does the CG art as well as the model art. Not the model art, but you know, the 2D model art. Um, her name is Sunako, and she has a cute little panda as her mascot. And its name is Shakiko. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. But it's a very adorable, very simple looking mascot. So, bit of a self-insert. I think that's very, very cute. So sleepy. I've only been sleeping for seven hours. Okay, I kind of cheated and used a little bit of a voice there, but I'm not gonna use it for the rest, so don't expect anything, okay? Kimizunana. I think that this is actually a real idol somewhere. I don't really know though. Y'all have to tell me if you if you want to. I'm Kimizunana, a singing dancing idol. I can fight singing too, you know. Okay, and player two, okay, I think a lot of you are gonna recognize this one. So, I probably don't even have to say who it is because look at him. He's got a green hat, a beard slash mustache, whatever, and he's got plumber clothes. So who do you guys think this is? I'll give you some time to think. Finally, the time has come, my time. I hope my time isn't timed. And we have a ramen connoisseur, okay. What the... What the heck is Yasuhiro Hagakure from Danganronpa doing in this game? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, no. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, he looks exactly like him though. If y'all know what Danganronpa is, props to you. Great game, highly recommend it. Another one of my favorites aside this game. Ramen Noodle Factory. I have to go and see one. Why don't you tell me my future while you're at it? You only have a 30% chance of being right. Okay, I'll stop, guys. I'm sorry. This is this is Neptunia. This is not Danganronpa. All right, so let's check out the shop real quick. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, good, uh, good start to the episode, right, guys? Me being stupid, you love to see it. So we are broke. So I guess we're going to have to go to the dungeon. So let's go. Oh, I guess this is where I was elegantly lodged into the ground, right? Well, not quite. It's a bit farther back, but... But? There are monsters all over the place now. Monsters? You mean like that blue dog-like jelly thingy over there? Yes, but they weren't here when I was here the last time. Um, this world has monsters all over the place like any RPG, right? Not really. They just popped up out of nowhere the last few years. Oh, okay then. Now let's go on and get some XP while we're at it. Nap Nap, what's the matter? You seem excited. Well, I'm the heroine, right? So I gotta beat up some monsters, I figured. I guess so, but... Can you really fight? I have my 
trusty sword and skills with me, it'll be a piece of cake. Okay, if you say so. Well, I'll help too then. Um, let me get this out. What combo? What's with that huge syringe? Wait, where'd that come from? Oh, I used this to fight. Where it came from? Well, that's a compass secret. Um, my imagine of where it came from can't explain the how. And you do know how cliche it is carrying a huge weapon, right? That's nitty gritty info. Let's just beat the nasties and go on. You heard her, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, dungeon exclamation. So, we've got treasure boxes, save points, and harvest points. I will explain each of these as we go through the dungeon. I will go through the instructions slowly, so if you guys want to read it. And then we also have these little event crystals, guys. I'm going to give y'all a warning here, but be very cautious when you approach these, because sometimes they can contain pretty difficult fights that you may or may not be ready for. However, it's usually not the case until the very end of the dungeon. Cliche, am I right? But yeah, some event crystals don't even contain battles. Some of them contain cutscenes, so... I mean, don't be too afraid if you find, like, the first event crystal. It's probably nothing. <laughs> okay, yeah, so here we are running around the dungeon. Also, apologies in advance if you guys hear me typing. I'm afraid I don't have a boom arm for my microphone. I will eventually get one, though. So let's go to this first event. Yay! My first monster! Hey, Kampa, I just need to beat him up, right? Yes, the Dogus are cute, but they are bad monsters, so we can beat them up. Wow, prejudice against Dogus much, Kampa? Okay then, let's get this battle tutorial over with. You heard her, guys. Let's go. Oh yeah, the battle system. This can be very tricky. Well, not really. <laughs> it's actually fairly simple. But I will explain all of this, so again, I will just go through these very slowly in case you want to read them. I will not, like, rush ahead. Okay. I can fight too! Wow, look at the size of that syringe! Oh my god, I would not want to get an injection from that thing, would you? Okay, guys, so... As I said in my guide video, you move around a huge circle when you're in the bat. This is like your battlefield. And this little blue square in front of you is the range where your weapon hits. So if you get the enemies within range, you're good to go. So just press the attack button. You want your and then shots. you have these three different commands. I will explain each of these sim as simply as I can. So the first one is the rush combo. Hey. This one deals the most hits, but does the least damage. That may sound useless now, but it'll be useful later, trust me. The next one is the power, which is the one that deals the least hits, it. like it's usually really one big hit or a couple of big hits, but it does the most damage. This is good when you want to finish off the monster fairly quickly, like if it's at, I don't know, 20% HP and you just want to finish it off. I would usually rely on the power, it usually does the job. And then the break hit. This if you saw what happened just there, the guard broke. By guard, I mean if you look at the purple GP bar, it says guard break. There is guard on all That's enemies, easy. and it is highly recommended that you break them. It's very easy to break the guard of grunt enemies, though. So honestly, you probably don't even have to use the break if you don't want to. But it will become Here crucial when it comes to harder fights, and I will explain that when the time hey. comes. <laughs> How is my power? Okay, so when you win a fight, whoever deals the last hit does a cute little victory pose. You got Neptune doing a cute little... I don't know if that's a peace sign or a victory sign, whatever, it works. 4 EXP, my god, that's lame. <laughs> victory! See? Leave it to old Nep and her trusty sword. So how is fighting Mr. Monster? There's still more I need to learn, but I think I can get the hang of this. In a way, I think she's also speaking on behalf of us as the players, because having a protagonist with an amnesiac... Uh, having an amnesiac protagonist... Okay, I can't talk. Having a protagonist with amnesia is a good idea, because in a way, it's kind of like she's learning alongside all of us. She's like, so I got it, what about you guys behind the screen there? Well, there's a lot more where it came from, so we can train a bit more. Sounds like a plan! Did you hear that, guys? The game just told us to grind. <laughs> Basically. Okay, dungeon activities. So there's the simple attack. I explained this in my guide video where you can get the jump on the monster if you attack it first. 
There's jump where you can jump to get to higher platforms. There will be some dungeons where you will need to jump, so there is that. And then the treasure shirts. I honestly don't use this too much, guys, because honestly, if you want to find the item, you just run around and continue spamming the treasure shirts because the treasure could honestly be literally anywhere in the dungeon. It's usually in corners of the dungeon if that makes things easier, but I usually don't bother with it too much. I will, I will explain the symbol and the surprise attack briefly. Yes, and there also is an escape route, so if you go like to the edge of the battlefield, there will be an escape chance. Never be, never feel ashamed to escape if there is a fight that you cannot win. All right, so let me let me demonstrate the simple attack. Like that. If you get the jump on the enemy, then your team gets to go first. My turn. Honestly, I'm just button mashing at this point. When when it comes to grunt enemies, you can honestly do anything. What are you doing? Keep an eye on your health. I'm just button mashing here. We did it! Super win! Thank you for the panty shot, Kampa. I'm sure all of us wanted to see that. Okay, so that was the symbol attack. Let me do a normal encounter. Please be nice. When a normal encounter slash normal battle starts, the one who has the highest Yay! speed goes first. So it can be either it's you or the turn. enemy. Usually if the enemy goes first, that, that means either that they're faster you than doing? you, or they're a higher level than you. Gonna beat you so be warned when you do this, okay? Here you go. Easy. Also, little first. reference, but these doggo enemies are actually a reference to the slime monsters of, I believe it's Monster Hunter? I'm this not really sure. Finally. And then these tulips, hey. they're not a reference to anything. They're just, they're just weird flowers. We can make game industry peaceful again. All right, so that was the normal encounter, like the normal battle. Let me do. Okay, these are little gathering points where you get. This is essentially what you can use in like what they call alchemy in this game, which is completely different. And we have our first item here. So what is Lucky. it? Healing grass. Okay, our first healing item. Grass. Our girls are eating grass, guys. Yep. Picture that in your mind. A surprise attack occurs when the enemy attacks you from behind, or sometimes when you try to attempt a symbol attack, the enemy gets the jump on you first. When in battle, the enemy team goes first. This may hurt a bit. So that's a surprise attack. So be careful when this happens, because it can get you into trouble. Ooh, our first level up. Sweet! Okay. What the heck is that thing? Whatever it is, it's hideous. Let's, let's wipe it off the state of the earth, shall we? Wipe it away from it existence. <laughs> okay, I don't mean to be so mean, but yeah. Some of the enemies are quite interesting in this game. And some of the enemies are references. Like I told you, the dog was a reference to the slime monster of Monster Hunter. Oh, and also, guys. We, we just leveled up. If you've noticed, our HP and SP has been restored. That is a very nice touch because some RPGs or JRPGs don't do that. So we should feel lucky that this game is going easy on us. Okay. Let's keep wandering the dungeon. Honestly, I think I know where the, the hidden treasure is in this dungeon. So I'll just show you an example of what it's like to find a hidden treasure after this fight. I think I know where it is. But I don't do it all. Bye bye. Finally. I'm just button mashing here, guys. Leave it to me. The dog demands are actually kind of defensive. You want your shot? They're not really much of a threat Finally. though. Okay, look at Kampa. She does there there are status conditions in this game and she is poisoned. Hey. I'm not really Victory. sure if they carry throughout the I don't think so. There are some games where the status conditions stay, but this game is not really one of them. Okay, let me see if I can sneak past this guy. Oh my god, okay, yeah. Turn around. I think I know where the hidden treasure is. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, come on. <laughs> You hit me! Uh, I can't wait! 
see if I can get both of them within range. It's always nice when you can get more than one enemy within your weapon range. That is always nice. Uh-oh. I just realized that Neptune is low on health. Uh, honestly, Kampa is too. Oh gosh. Oh god, this isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, so I'm going to use my first skill, guys. Skills can either be supportive or offensive. And I'm going to use this one to... I'm gonna heal Neptune. Heal time. She probably should have healed Kampa, but... You gotta also look at the order of the turns of the characters to see which move is best. Yeah, there we go. Now I can heal Kampa. Perfect. Heal time. This is a game where you really have to pay attention, guys. My turn. But yeah, skills can be used. Actually, I'll describe time. skills in the ne in the next fight. For now, let me try to find the hidden treasure. I think I know where it is. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe over here. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, forget it. This guy's got me. Come at me! I can't okay, I'm gonna skip Kampa's turn and show turn. a skill that is offensive. So skills do a lot more damage than normal attacks. However, they do come at a price. And that price is SP. Yeah, you're hurt. Leave it to me. And honestly, it's kind of hard to recover SP at the start of the game. So I try to use skills as little as possible. Right. Win again next time. Okay, guys, I am actually going to do a quick little cut here. And when I say when I what I mean when I say that is I'm going to stop recording for a little bit and do a little bit of off-screen training and then come back. And I will always do these at a safe point. I'm gonna do this a lot in this game because this game does require a ton of grinding, as I said in my guide video. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I did a little bit of grinding off screen. Not too much, I got to level three. And I think that's a pretty good level to go on to the event. Honestly, it kind of doesn't really matter if you grind or not because this is one of the easy dungeons. So we're just gonna go on to this event, hopefully before that flower catches up to us. We're here. This is where I found you, Nep Nep. Wow, that's a huge hole right there. Nep Nep. Does this make you remember anything? Um, Nep Nep? Why do they have to move their mouths when nothing is said? Another little tiny pet peeve of mine with this game. It's not that bad, but still a little bothersome. Hmm. She's trying. She's thinking. Hmm. Give her a minute. <laughs> She's so cute. Remember a thing! Kampa, are you sure I was stuck here? Yes. You fell from the skies like a shooting star and landed right here. How many times have you said that, Kampa? Like a shooting star cutting through the night, right? I think that they actually reference pop culture here, guys. I think they referenced a song called Shooting Star Cutting Through the Night. I've never heard it myself, but I'm pretty sure that's what's being referenced here. Honestly, that didn't come from me. I watched um, another video that were speaking about references and they said that this was a reference to a song. I'm not sure if it's old or new, but I've never heard it before. That's right. What's the matter, Kampa? Why'd you raise your voice? Just struck me, but there could be a clue around here somewhere. Nep, nep did you lose anything by chance? Maybe an ID or anything? Why would she lose an ID? She fell from the sky. What makes you think anyone who falls from the sky would have an ID? Unless they were a skydiver that completely failed. I wish, but you know, I can't remember anything, so... Hey, wait! I, I do remember something I'm missing. Really? What is it? Well, that's obvious. I know where this is going. Obvious? My memory. Real nice, Neptune, real nice. Kampa is absolutely speechless. Um, wasn't that funny? Oh my god, it's me whenever I do any recording. Nep Nep, I don't think now is the time to be fooling around. Wait, what? I thought you were joking when you asked me if I remembered. Joking aside, let's look for some clues. What's that sound? That sounded like someone smacked someone. 
I have a bad feeling about this. What? Huh? The ground, it's crumbling! That sounded like a window shattered, not the ground! My god, these sound effects, I swear. We're falling! You held out on that G for a little bit, Kampa. I didn't expect that. They really changed the story with this remake. God damn it, Neptune, not again. Once again, guys, she is referencing the pre-make of this game, and yes, she is absolutely right. This is very different from what happened in the original. But maybe I'll show you guys someday, but it's just, it is very different. A lot is different. Honestly, I think too much is different. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Okay. Yes, <laughs> who says that? Phew. It would have been a disaster if you lost your memory too. Oh, for sure, because then we would have had two dumbasses with memory loss. Honestly, real talk, I honestly don't know who of the two has the bigger brain cell here. I think they're about equal levels of dumb. But hey, it's okay, we love them anyway. Where are we anyway? I think we're beneath the forest. This place feels a bit weird. Yeah, I'm getting bad vibes from this place. What's this? Kampa, can you take a look? Do you know what it is? I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. I know. It must be a metal to change into items with a king somewhere. I don't understand that reference, guys. Let me know in the comments because I have no idea what she's talking about. What? Where's that event flag inducing growl coming from? Nap nap! There's a huge monster over there! Ah! Please help me! Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh no, Kompa! She's being censored and censored! <laughs> Sorry for the pause, guys. I just. I just shook my head. <laughs> You know fan service. Well, time to get a bit more serious now. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? <laughs> For those of you that thought that something else was going to happen in this scene, she's making fun of each and every one of you. Don't worry, I'll save you. Take this! What the? Wait. Who just commented on my attack? That wasn't an attack, you just flailed your arms. I'm sorry. I didn't want to surprise you, but I couldn't stop myself. <gasps> oh my god, you know you really mess up when he stars making fun of you. Hmm? I've heard that voice before. Have we met? I am Histoire. I thought I explained this when I was in your dream, Neptune. Well, the fact that it was a dream, she probably wouldn't think it was real. Oh, yeah. Ms. Heavenly Voice from my dream. Wait, that was real? Exactly. Um, Nep Nep, a little help here, pretty please. Oh my god, we forgot all about you, Kampa. Oh, right. I need to help Kampa. Miss Heavenly Voice, can you help? No, but if you use your hard drive divinity, Things should be okay. Hard drive what? I lost my memory, so do you mind taking it step by step? I see. That explains why the conversation was all over the last time. Not to mention it took forever to get anywhere. Um, if I use that hard drive thingy, I can save Kampa, right? Well, yes. But now, I'm not sure you can use your hard drive divinity. Well, I'll go beyond the impossible and kick reason to the curb. So, please, lend me a hand. I want to save my friend, Kampa. I will force run hard drive divinity from you. Are you ready? Why does that sound so strange? I will force run it. I will smack you until you work again. 
Reminds me of old computers. <laughs> Ready and willing. Oh my god, and she even has a disc. They are really taking the humanoid game console thing literally, guys. Neptune, may your power arise. Get ready, guys! She has returned! You're going! And she's beautiful. Honestly, guys, Purple Heart is my favorite of the CPUs. Even, even amongst other CPUs, if you guys know what I mean. She's always been my favorite. Is this really me? And her voice changes too. That is so good. <laughs> Everything about her has changed, guys. Her looks, her body, and even her persona. You'll see what I mean. Yes, this is your true form, Neptune. Nap, nap. Wow, you transformed! You transformed literally everything. The power, it's flowing from within. There's no way I can lose with this. Just wait, Kampa. I'll save you. All right, battle time. I'll be your opponent. I you kind of went off key there. I heard Neptune in that voice. <laughs> okay, guys, first fight as Purple Heart. So, we have a very strange looking boss here. Looks like a cross between a spider and a... I don't know what the hell that is, a Spartan? <laughs> I have no idea. Either way, it's quite hideous, so let us wipe it from existence, shall we? I think I'm actually going to just do a little normal attacks first. So, she has gotten a lot stronger. Lots of stab boosts with her transformation, guys. And honestly, I'm not going to count this as a boss fight. Because... An obvious result. That was laughably easy. <laughs> that is not a boss fight. That's the tutorial boss that literally anyone can beat. It's like one of those RPG bosses. I'll be even stronger. And she leveled up. Nice. All right. Well, that should do it. That was super, Nap Nap! You beat that monster in a flash! Whew, that was tiring. Well done, Neptune. And Kampa, are you okay? Yesy, I'm okay. And it's all thanks to Nap Nap. Huh? Um, Nap Nap, whose voice is this? And where is it coming from? It's Miss Heavenly Voice, a.k.a. Eastwar... What was it again? Eastwar, you were only off by one letter. That's right. Isti, Isti. You can call me Isti. Now, nice to meet you, Kampa. I am Eastwar. Can I call you Isti too? It's nice to meet... Um, hear you, Isti. Um, Kampa? I can't believe it was still alive after all the damage it took. Oh, Isti, can you take a look at this? Do you know what it is? That's a key fragment. It's a piece needed to release me from my seal. You're sealed, Isti? Yes, can you release me? There are one of those in each land. I could, but I have to fight monsters, right? Isn't it dangerous? Yes, your life will be in danger. But if you can help lift my seal, I can in turn help you get your memory back. Really? Really, really. And anyway, I do need you to get your memory back. Well then, let good old Neptune search far and wide for those fragments. I'll help too! After all, I can't leave Nepnep alone with her brain loss. Nicely worded, Kampa. She just called you stupid Neptune. <laughs> Very nicely worded. Memory loss, Kampa. But thanks! Are you okay being away from nursing school? It's closed because of the monsters, so I'm okay. 
Welcome to 2020, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much. What? I'm having trouble hearing you, Isty. Is the static there bad? I think I lost contact. I hope Isty is alright. Well, we at least know how to get your memory back. Let's go, Nap Nap! Sounds like a plan! Let's do this! Neptune can now transform into her goddess state whenever we want her to, guys. However, it will cost about 20% of our max SP. I usually don't make Neptune transform unless it's a difficult fight or a boss fight because it's kind of overkill if you make her transform when you fight a grunt enemy, not to mention you waste SP. But hey, you guys do whatever you want. I'm just saying what I prefer. Still though, that's very nice. Big stat boost on Neptune. Nap Nap, I was gonna go shopping for the trip, but do you want to come? I was thinking of eating out too. That sounds fun. I'll follow along like colorful miniature alien fairies. She's referencing the Pikmin, guys. <laughs> I know that reference. Now that I had a good chance to look, this is a really huge city. Planetune is the most advanced city out of the Four Lands. Ah, so that's why you have that super yummy pudding. Um, you can find those anywhere. And, well, never mind. Oh no. <laughs> It's a man! My worst enemy when it comes to voiceovers. Well, I know what I signed up for by doing this, guys, so y'all are probably going to laugh at me, so... One second. Hey, did you hear about the rumor? You mean the one about the newly discovered cave under the forest? Well, that's not all. I heard the place is infested with monsters. Everyone's saying that the place must be a breeding place for the monsters. You've got to be kidding. Breeding? That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, and the guild is looking for people to check that place out now. Seriously? I thought the CPU would do something about it. Kampa? Nap Nap, do you mind if we do something before we leave? Don't tell me. About that cave they were talking about? Yes, even old Kletzi Me wants to help Planetine and the Goddess. Well, let's go to the guild instead of shopping then. Are you sure? You say by me, so it's my turn to follow you instead, you know? Okay guys, the remake system. This is basically out the alchemy of the game where you put things together and make another thing. You can make items, it's mostly making items, accessories, the works. But you can also make little tiny hacks that you can put in dungeons. Not to mention you will need the space available. You will need like memory space. You usually get more memory whenever you fight bosses in the actual in-game story. So, if you don't have enough, then you'll just have to wait. Yes, and it says some plans allow you to turn the plan on and off. So if you have a, an example, if you have a plan to change the enemies in a dungeon, you can either turn it on or turn it off, so it is not permanent. Trust me, those will be a big help later on. And of course, you can get these plans from residents, treasures and dungeons, quest rewards, or from very powerful monsters. Alright guys, so we are back here, so... Should we go over to Planetune and check out some things before we end it? Or should we end it here? I think I might actually go here. I, I might check this out real quick. Let's, let's check it out. So, is this the guild? Yes, you can get all sorts of working missions here. Let's see, okay, okay. Ah, this must be it. If you want to take care of an order, just enter it like so. Done! You're used to this, aren't you? Did you use the guild often? Yep, more for volunteering things. This type is a first time for me. Well then, let's make this dungeon expedition a success. Yes, let's do our best, Nap Nap. Okay, you can take quests, and it's basically the same for any RPG. You take the quest, you do the job, you get the reward. However, there are also shares, where if you do a quest, one of the nation's shares increase, while another decreases. 
This kind of sucks if you're making another nation's thing decrease, but sometimes it is necessary. Not to mention, one of the beauties of the quest system of this game is you can actually do a couple- you can actually do some quests in a limited amount of times, so if you want to farm money, this is a good way to do it. Alright, so let's access- let's accept some quests. Oh look, I already have this one finished. It must have been when I was grinding off key. I'm just gonna accept all of them, you know. We're gonna be going to these dungeons anyway. Oh wait. I have a clear- I have a quest to clear. So when you clear it, you get the reward, and the shares of Planet Tune have increased, and the shares of Last Asian have decreased. Kinda sucks. Okay, so we got some chirpers here. We've got our girl Neptune. It's a plan to make accessories! Oh, I want this! So she basically gave us a plan to make a bunch of different accessories for her. It's nice. Oh look, the panda's back. Last time I woke up to the sound of something piercing to the ground. Now I can't sleep anymore. Referencing when Neptune fell to the ground. And here's a cat that can talk. It's a plan to change lines you can get in a dungeon, yeah? Find out what you can get with this, yeah? Changing items in the virtual forest. We also have some chirp. Oh, hey, look, the monster cave. Okay, now this is a good place to stop, guys. But first, let's go to these little chirpers. It's Miss Manual telling stuff we already know. She does that a lot. Like, What's the point of her if we are just already getting instructions? <laughs> yes, we know that there's hidden treasures in the dungeon. Miss Manual again. How the heck are you in three places at once? About materials. Sell about materials you don't need for- Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good advice. That's also kind of obvious advice, but it's good advice nonetheless. Okay guys, I think this is probably a good place to end it, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So next time on Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1, we're going to go over to the Monster Cave and see what's up. I hope you have a great rest of your day. This is the Nep Queen signing off. Bye-bye!